All right, good morning. So for writing the workshop in English, we're gonna need the same uh, writing packet, something to write with, and then your iPad so you can upload it when you finish. Uh, we're gonna use our same character we created, and they're gonna go on a new adventure. We're gonna work on story number two. Some of you may have um, more stories. So with Miss Kachu last time, you learned to be self-sufficient writers, right? So we, th what that means is that when you get stuck, you know you have strategies to figure out what to do next. So um, she was talking about if you get stuck, you can um, uh, pretend to be the character, or you can get your character in trouble and to, to write more. And today, I noticed that some of our endings, we usually just say, oh, the end, and then we finish. Uh, so we're going to work on our endings today. So let's read what we're doing. Writers elaborate on their endings. And elaborate means it's when you give more details, when you make your ending stronger. And there's three ways to do this. You can use action, when your characters move. Dialogue, you know that's when they talk. And feeling, how your characters are feeling. And you're really good at using this in the beginning of your story. Um, but we're, you, we're making sure that we also have strong endings, okay? So I'm going to give you a short story. And I want you to notice if I use action, dialogue, or feeling. One day, Sala wanted to play with his friend Yalitza. So then they ended up grabbing their soccer ball, their pail, and all their toys. And they were heading over to the park. But as they were heading over to the sandbox, they noticed a strange and unusual... Uh, that end. Uh, is that a way to end the story? No, right? I didn't have action or dialogue or feeling. There was a problem in the story, but we didn't give the character, we didn't give our character a solution. Salah didn't have a solution. I was just a problem. Um, so I'm going to try again. I'm going to give you it the same story, but I'm going to try a stronger ending. I'm going to elaborate on my ending. All right, so notice if I use action, dialogue, or feeling. Do you like playing with your friends? One day, Zala also really wanted to play with his friend Yalitza. They grabbed their soccer ball, their pail, and some toys. But as soon as they were heading to the sandbox, they noticed an unusual and strange bird. It was a quetzal with red and blue and green feathers. What was worse is that it seemed lost and scared. Quetzal usually live in Mexico or Guatemala. Zala and Yalitza began to think of ways to calm it down. Don't worry, we won't hurt you, whispered Yalitza. They both quietly stepped back. I'm sure it'll find its family soon and feel safe, Zala explained. It was true. Before they knew it, the Quetzal had flown away. The end. Alright, did I use action? Yes, right? So in the story, if I go back to the ending, it says that they quietly moved back when they saw the quetzal at the end. So they use action. Dialogue is when Yalitza says, don't worry, we won't hurt you. And then feeling is when uh, Zala says, I'm sure, it's I'm sure it'll find its family soon and feel safe. So it's a feeling. So in summary, in order to make our ending stronger, we have three different strategies to use. Uh, we have action, dialogue, and feeling. And I can't wait to see what um, new adventure your character goes in and which one you decide to use. Maybe you decide to do uh, action or two of them or maybe all three of them. Okay? Awesome.